and good morning and welcome to Crystal Beach. It is, uh, it's what, the last day, last full day of summer or the second to last full day of summer? Anyway, it's around about the 20th of September, I think it is. I can't remember, it's my day off, so I'm gonna guess it's the 20th. Anyway, uh, the weather is absolutely spectacular. We've got two more days of warm weather uh, before the fall light weather actually shows up. So it's like, it's like summertime, summertime temperatures. So it's uh, hard not to resist going out on the water today. Um, it's currently 22 degrees Celsius, it's going up to 28 today. With a bit of humidity, will make it feel like uh, 33, 34 uh, Celsius, which is, oh my God, 68, 98 degrees Fahrenheit with the humidity. So uh, that's not bad, but crystal clear waters. Contrary to what I uh, read on a Facebook group the other day, the Crystal Beach was named after Crystal Beach in Texas, which is a load of bloody baloney. Uh, Crystal Beach here in Ontario is named after the Crystal Clear Waters, and nothing to do with any other place called Crystal Beach. Just want to get that clear. So anyway, I'm down at Crystal Beach. Uh, there's a few fishing guys out. Uh, the leaves are still on the trees. So I just checked on the phone. It is the 20th of September. I wasn't losing my mind. So yeah, we're a last full day of summer. And uh, what a spectacular way to finish it off. So I have no idea what I'm going to be doing on this video. I'm just going to be riding around. Uh, I might head up to Port Coburn first, then I might zip back down um, towards Buffalo after that. And basically, we'll just see what we can see. Uh, maybe we'll ride along the coastline and just go for a bit of an adventure and show you what I got. And um, I might even get the drone up. It's perfect right now for the drone. Uh, so uh, let's go out, have a wonderful day and uh, join me for the ride. My name is Nigel, also known as Lake Erie Vlogger, and today I'm back out on Lake Erie. Oh, I just want to say a massive thank you uh, to all those new subscribers to my channel, regardless of whether it's for the, uh, the Sea Do Adventures or the shipping feature I do on my channel. Uh, I thank you very, very much. Uh, it's most appreciated. The comments from the last couple of videos have just been immense, uh, especially the group ride I did on the Niagara River. Uh, great comments, a lot of people enjoyed that one. Some people even say it's one of the best uh, sea do videos they've seen in a long, long time. So I appreciate comments like that. It means a lot. It makes me want to go out and do even better. Uh, that said though, I don't think today will beat that, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> That's not my intention right now, so to go out and have some fun. And also for the ship videos, there's been a few uh, ship videos that have really taken off uh, this year. I've got a lot of following on that, so I've got a good mixture of age groups on my channel, ranging from the young 20s who are into the sea dudes, even some of them into the ships. And then again, we have people going like the 40s and 50s who are just like me, loving the sea do action. And then we have the older guys who love the ships as well, and those who work on the ships. So thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart. It's been a blast. Uh, my subscriber count has really risen, and I've really started to grow this channel. It's uh, taken me four years to get where I am today and I've enjoyed every bloody minute of it except for some of the editing it is tedious and just to let you know <laughs> everything I do on this channel is not being sponsored by anyone I've got no influx of money from everyone everything I do is on my own budget my own time and yes it's very expensive that's why there's some days you, you go for a two or three week period where I don't post anything because I'm broke basically I need to find some overtime to pay for this expensive hobby uh, but that said it's worth every single penny of it All right, that's it, let's crack on. would have been uh, the Labor Day weekend and this beach would have been absolutely packed this is Bay Beach here at Crystal Beach and there would have been a couple of thousand people on this beach but look at it today uh, not even a, not even 50 
Well, this isn't something I get to do every day. He's actually got off the sea do and walk up to Crystal Beach. And that's mainly primarily because this is all uh, fenced off from boaters and sea dews because of the crowds for safety reasons. But uh, we'll have a little walk up. The sea dews going nowhere. And step onto Crystal Beach, Bay Beach. So as you can tell, it's pretty quiet down here today. Now the summer's gone, but like I said, 2,000 people down here three weeks ago. thing about the whole area of Crystal Beach is this. The beach goes on for a kilometer and a half, two kilometers, but it's all private, which is extremely, extremely sad. I mean, if this was the UK, which of course it's not, but if it was, this beach where everyone would just walk along it, enjoy it, it's just it's something about Canada and being private and giving everyone a right to a beach when really beaches, which is a natural waterfront of a lake or a sea, should be public for everyone. Uh, it just blows my mind. It's just absolutely beautiful sandy beach. Uh, and no one can use it except the people of those homes, basically. Because I've been to Port Coburn so many times, I've not actually really filmed much here for you to show uh, because it's on plenty of other videos. So it's just a quick visit, quick washroom break, and straight back out. For those who don't already know, this is a, uh, the canal, uh, the harbour point of uh, Port Coburn. There's some great places here to eat if you ever want to come down. Uh, fish and chip shop there, Miners Fisheries. It's a great pizza place, got great reviews. One of my favourite places is just up here which is the pie guys that used to be just in here somewhere a small building and now they're under this big condominium and they've got a big uh, space here which is really nice but i'm not going in today but i've been in there many times before a couple of fishing boats here Pie Guys is always a popular place. Great place to go for a coffee and a summer, summer bite to eat, a nice pie or a cake. There's quite a few people sat out there having a drink. All right, we're going to head out and we're going to, I'm going to take the coastline back. I'm not going to go right across to Crystal Beach. I'm going to stay pretty close to land and see what I can see.
So just behind me is uh, Port Coburn and that place where they scrap the ships, the marine place. So anyway, this is Nickel Beach in Port Coburn. I'll put links in the description of all these places we go to. Um, this is like Crystal Beach's version, but in, in Port Coburn. Uh, it's a beautiful sandy beach. Uh, very, very busy in the summer. A lot of sea dews, jet skis, I should say. Uh, boats, the whole lot are down here. It's like a great place to come. It's a nice big beach as well, unlike Crystal Beach, Bay Beach. This is, you can have all this, it all belongs to the town of uh, Port Coburn. And like I say, it's a major popular place in the summer months. Yeah, we may as well get up and have a look around. As I said, a very busy place in the summer. But today, very quiet. Uh, three or four boats here and about 30 people. Uh, city has lots of garbage cans out to keep the place clean. These lovely sand dunes here. Oh my God. Sand is so soft. Uh, but you can't go up here, you can't go in the dunes because it's uh, apparently there's a lot of wild frogs around here. All right, let's carry on uh, touring along the coastline here on the northeast shoreline of Lake Erie as we start making our way back down to Crystal Beach and Point Abino. I've only been here a couple of times and I get a little nervous down here and the reason being is it goes shallow so quick even when you're about 200 meters out there it suddenly goes shallow especially when the waves are picked up so you've got a nice southwesterly wind and you've got the three or four foot swells one minute you're like 10 feet above everything the next thing you see rocks so that always makes me a little nervous around here on certain days Nice little arch, very uh, nice. I don't know what this place is, but it looks nice. A lot of deck chairs laid out, uh, sun loungers. All those shady tents. Now I see a lot of shallow water ahead, so I have to go out quite far now because I know it's very shallow and the water level is low, like I said at the end of the video, due to the wind direction. You can see all the rocks sticking out. How far the coastline is behind me, and I'm only in eight feet of water. Look how far I'm out. I'm about 400 meters to that point, maybe a bit further, and I'm in four feet of water. That's why Lake Erie gets so dangerous with big swells, because there's so many shallow areas that go quite far out into the lake. I don't know if I can safely get into Lorraine Bay.
All right, I managed to make it into Lorraine Bay, but just the houses, private houses, a couple of big ones. Now, just around the next uh, little tip here will be uh, Shirkston, I believe. So shallow still, seven feet. idea what kind of bird that is but uh you need to get back to your mate he's over there oh they'll figure it out wildlife so this is shirkston shores very popular place here in southern ontario uh it's mainly full of people from the gtha the greater toronto area the now five the 416 it's giant cesspool of piss heads, basically. <laughs> There's no way to put it. There's always something happening here in the summer, and it always makes the news. There's trouble galore. I mean, there's a lot of nice people here, but it's spoiled by a lot of bad apples. Uh, but in the summer, this place is absolutely jammed for the main 10 weeks of summer, and uh, it's always making the news for something. Oh, by the way, it, it goes all the way around the corner. A shipwreck off uh, Shirkston. You gotta be careful here because I did a video at the beginning of the year and there is a prop shaft that sticks out of the water sometimes and no one's ever marked it. Uh, people tell me I should come and do it but it's, it belongs to the ministry uh, and the waterways or people here. I mean it's it's a liability. I'm just trying to see where it is. I think I've gone past it. Oh no there it is. There it is. Whoa 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 wow they went right over that. Hang on. Look at that. So the top of that shaft is about six inches below the water. So if I went over that, all oh, these people on their jet skis went over that really fast. It's going to slice your hull right open and you're doomed. All right, moving on, because we've done this video. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description uh, for a couple of the videos. Uh, regarding the ship, one when I went through it and explored it, and then the other one about that prop. So this is all private, so you can't just show up here. Oh, mind you, you probably could just sneak on the beach and not make people notice when it's busy. Uh, but there is a little uh, public beach right in the corner there. Uh, Pleasant Bay Beach. Uh, you can't launch them there, but you can also, but you can actually make your way on, just anchor your sea view up, jet ski, and just park yourself on the beach there. That's kind of nice. But then again, all this from here, all the way along is now private all the way until you get to Crystal Beach. Look at all that beautiful sand, all those beautiful beaches, all private. So this is a little spot that's uh, public. Basically it's an access ramp. 
Uh, but you can use it as a beach. There's some people coming down right now. But everything that way is now private, all the way to Bay Beach and Crystal Beach. It's sad, isn't it? Uh, miles and miles of beautiful sand, and no one from the public can use it. So basically, this is the only public beach you have. This little patch of land that I'm on. And this is Shirkston. So in the summer, this absolutely gets packed in. A lot of people try and sneak into Shirkston. But yeah, this is like virtually the end of Port Coburn and then you make it over to uh, Crystal Beachway and that's where we're gonna go now. Beautiful sand dunes. These remind me of the ones I saw when I went down to Port Burwell last year, uh, just up the coast from there. So massive sand dunes, really cool to see. Where kids, people are running down them, I'm falling down them, which is quite funny. These are like a smaller version. But once again, it's all private property. But I do believe there is a public access path somewhere here. So maybe this bit could be public. I'm not 100%. But I know the upper bit is not, it's all private. Anyway, moving on, we're going to make our way to Point Abano Lighthouse, which is just on the bend. Point Abano House, an historic landmark. Let's see if I can get up to it. Let's see if the water's calm enough for me to see. And uh, I think I still have it plotted on my chart anyway. So we'll uh, make our way in. It's top secret how you get into this place, by the way. There is a certain channel you can follow. Oh, someone's already beat me to it. Well, I've never seen that exposed like that. Look at this. This is the lowest I've seen it in a very long time. I don't even want to risk with the engine on. There is another channel a bit further out. Maybe I'll just push him out there. I must have cleared all the maps off here. I still got the rocks on here, but my track's gone. All right, I'll get out and push it. That went a little deeper. I think there's a channel just there I want to try and get into. This doesn't look right, I need to be further over. Oh, now it's up to my nuts. That's deeper. Oh, that's definitely deeper. All right, that's good. So that, that is the path. Right, I found my path out. <laughs> it's just over there. 
because I know it's in line with that concrete slab. You can go straight out. He's got to watch out for the rocks. All right, point having an old lighthouse. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of drone footage. That's virtually uh, the tour of this part of the coastline done. The only thing for me to do right now is try and get back out of here without scratching my sea-doo. The water levels are so low. So I'm gonna find my way out. I'm gonna find my way like 20 feet over there, find a gap and then jump on and fire up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Found the channel I want. Right here. Oh yeah, perfect. It just drops off right here, so <sighs> I'll go to the other side. Jump up, fire up, and off we go. Alright, I hear you. Now we've just got to navigate out of here.
at Crystal Beach. Uh, a lot busier than what it was uh, when we started at 11 o'clock. Uh, quite a few people out there now. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, don't think it'll be the last one of the season. I'm sure I'll get out one more time, maybe two more times in October. Um, but yeah, anyway, to the next video, stay safe, see you all soon, and thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, from Lake Erie, goodbye.